let's let's start this. And with all due respect to Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and all of these the things that they've accomplished, this game comes down to Chiefs defensive coordinator Steve Spagnolo, his plan for for the Ravens and this Chiefs defense. I mean, what do you take away from being able to to talk to these guys afterward about how they were able to put on that performance against Baltimore? Yeah, really neat. Talk to just about all the key people on the field after while they're all celebrating all that. And, and they kept pointing back to Spags and just the, the game plan he put together, throwing everything at Lamar Jackson, uh, man, zone, dropping in coverage, blitzing all over the place. Um, and just how important it was to keep him off his element, to contain him. Um, he really didn't get to take off and run very much. Um, he has the two biggest running games by quarterbacks against the Chiefs in the last five years. And that really wasn't a factor. Um, red zone was great. I think that the, I think the, the, uh, I believe they had three drives where they got to the 25 or closer in the second half and came away with three points from those drives, which is just crazy. The, the big play is just Legere Sneed. Uh, I've seen Antoine Winfield do it twice this year, but to punch a ball out inside the one is just remarkable and, and to stick with it, get the recovery and, and just the emotional aspect of, of you drive all the way down the field, you get inside the one yard line, you have nothing at all to show for it. Uh, I thought that was huge. That's the crazy thing, too, is so many times in the second half, it felt like, okay, here come the Ravens. They've kind of, they found something. They're moving the ball. You know, the the big play to Zay Flowers, he recovers from the taunting penalty. It looks like we're about to have a ball game on our hands, and then the Sneed play. Right. And I've I've always, I've always thought this was a little bit of a cliche, but to me it felt like, you know, the Chiefs leaned in a big way on the amount of times they've been in these types of spots. And and conversely, it kind of felt like the Ravens crumbled under the pressure a little bit. A little bit. I mean, you think about like the throw Lamar made. And, and again, I, I sat there after the Zay Flowers play, and I was like, wow, if they make this a one-score game, that that fumble inside the one is going to be huge. And then they did it at least two more times. I mean, it was like they got to the 25-yard line after the big pass play down the sideline to Aguilar. And – just a bad, I mean, probably the worst pass of the night is Lamar Jackson throwing into triple coverage and Deion Bush gets the pick in the end zone. That ends that one. And then even, you know, whatever it was, three minutes left, they get to the 25 again and the Chiefs stifle them. They have to take a field goal, you know, which is, is probably the right thing to do down 10 there, but you kind of felt like they weren't going to get the ball back. So 